did this eye look in honor of prom. I know that it's right around the corner, so I wanted to go ahead and do a look that I think would be great to wear to prom. It definitely makes your eyes pop and stand out. I used colors that I thought would complement a variety of people as well as any color dress choice that you might wear. I didn't want to limit myself to like either just a purple eye, a pink eye, well, <laughs> either just a purple eye, like a blue eye or whatnot. Um, I wanted this look to be versatile so that way you can feel comfortable pairing it with any color dress that you could choose. Um, I also went ahead and paired this with a really pretty sparkly lip. I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to the look, so I topped off my lips with the NYX Glam Lip Gloss. Um, it's their Aqua Lux collection, I guess. Um, yeah, it's their Aqua Lux collection, and it's in the color VIP. Um, it's so gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I am obsessed. I think I'm addicted. So anyways, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, first, it is very important to apply an eyeshadow primer. Um, this is going to ensure that your eyeshadow lasts and does increase all night long. And then I'm going to be using this eyeshadow base um, just to give the shadows something to adhere to and also make them stand out more and be more vibrant. Now here I'm taking Shamois Nude and applying it to my brow bone as a highlight. Um, I like using matte shades for this. And then I'm going to take Wedge from MAC with an E40 brush from Sigma and apply it to my crease in Windshield Wipe promotions and this is going to be our transition color and you want to make sure that you blend it upwards. Next I'm taking one of my favorite eyeshadows Miami Spice and using a 286 brush I'm first going to be applying it to my outer corner and then I'm going to blend it up um, halfway up my crease if that makes sense. Um, as you can tell in the video um, I'm using a different technique here. I'm actually placing the brush down, blending it on my lid first, and then I'm going to tip the brush up and then blend it down um, just about halfway down my crease. Then I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette and I'm going to take this like silver, um, kind of like silver slash champagne color and just apply it to my lid and my inner, um, like the inner corner of my lid. And then here I'm taking the 286 brush and just going back over to blend everything out. Now I'm going to take Incognito with a pencil brush and kind of outline um, my outer corner just a little bit. And then here I'm going to use the same 286 brush and Miami Spice, one to soften the black and also to smoke out that corner. Um, this process uh, takes a little bit um, to get the effect that you want, which is a really nice um, smoky outer corner. Uh, but you know, it's just it's all about blending and using another eyeshadow to soften that black because it is really pigmented, and um, I just didn't want that outer corner to be just black. So here I'm just lining my eyes with the Elf Liquid Liner. Um, I seem to always revert back to this liner because for some reason it's just easier to apply than anything else I've tried. Um, and just for the sake of time, it really is the quickest, at least for me it is. Here I'm going to line my waterline with this Milani Liquify um, eye pencil in black. And then I'm going to set it with Incognito. I like doing this because it makes that waterline color last a really long time, especially for prom, you want it to last all night. And then I'm just taking incognito and applying it to my bottom lash line about two thirds of the way in. And then to soften that black, I'm going to take Miami Spice with a pencil brush and just go over it a few times until it's softened enough. And you want to actually bring the pencil brush from one, un from one end of your lash to the other. Now to smoke out this bottom lash line, I'm taking Wedge with a blending brush. And sorry that it's out of focus, um, I still am tweaking with my camera. Um, and then here with the same eyeliner from e.l.f., I'm just going to make a wing. Then I go off camera to apply my false eyelashes. Um, I use a Miss Sodoro 423s and they're absolutely gorgeous. And then to highlight my tear duct area, I'm going to use this pigment from NYX in Nude Pearl. And then I'm going to apply mascara to my bottom lashes. And that pretty much completes um, my eyes. And finally, I'm going to apply the lips. Um, just for the sake of the video, I'm putting on the Rimmel lipstick in number 17. Um, it's a really pretty, like, perfect pink color for anyone's lips. And then I'm going to apply this lip gloss from Elizabeth Arden. It's called Peony. And uh, I'm using this technique where you actually put it on the back of your hand and then apply it with your fingers. I feel like you get the, the most payoff doing it this way uh, because those little dough applicators, sometimes I feel they take off more than putting on. 
one. Um, I don't know if that's just me. And then finally, I'm going to top off my lips with my favorite, favorite lip gloss. It's the NYX Glam, Glam Lip Gloss Aqua Lux in the color VIP. And it just adds the perfect sparkle, as you can tell in the video. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it does have glitter on it, but it's very fine. And when it's on your lips, it just sparkles. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.